Okay, so now we're on to the awards. So, <laughs> the NZ Skeptics have three awards, um, as I'm sure most people have seen today with bring up the Wikipedia page, etc. And the first award we have is the Bent Spoon. Now, each year the New Zealand Skeptics announce the Bent Spoon Award for the New Zealand organisation which has shown the most egregious gullibility or lack of critical thinking in public coverage of or commentary on a science-related issue. And we never have a lack of candidates, let's be honest. Um, so we have a couple of runners-up that I thought were of note, so we should mention them tonight. The first one is we have TVNZ. Now, TVNZ have been shamelessly showing old episodes of Sensing Murder. And Sensing Murder is a TV program that exploits and sensationalizes local murders by getting psychics to pretend that they're helping police to solve the crimes. And it is just a disgusting show. Um, and if that wasn't enough, this year TVNZ are filming a new season of the program. So come next year, back on our TV screens, we're going to have more of Sensing Murder, unfortunately. So all we can do really is um, get on stuff, get on the Herald, and when articles come up, just jump into the comments and be skeptical. Okay, so the next runner-up, as I think probably most people could guess, would be, uh, it's, it's Bishop Brian Tamaki. Um, <laughs> Maybe we should have him every year as at least a runner-up, but this year he's done amazingly well. So this year he claimed that earthquakes are caused by certain types of sin, especially sins like being gay. Just unbelievable. Um, for me, the worst bit of this, the most worrying bit, is that he gave this sermon only hours before our earthquakes recently. And because it happened before, my worry is that a lot of his flock are going to think that maybe he knew that it was coming. Maybe he has got this direct line to God. And that really scares me because people already pay him a lot of money. I think he's going to get more and goodness knows what he's going to do with it. So, next up, on to the winner. And the winner of our bent spoon for this year is the New Zealand Herald. So, the NZ Herald is a New Zealand newspaper with an illustrious 150 year history. It's been going for a long time. However, in recent years, the quality has been slipping, as I'm sure people have seen with their online clickbait. Um, it's just getting worse. So, the kind of stuff they've been publishing, um, within the last year, they had an article on how to pick winning lottery numbers, and they interviewed a guy from the States that figured that he sorted out the formula. He knew how to get lucky numbers. They then had another article about which shops selling lotto tickets were the lucky ones the ones that you should go to to increase your chance of winning the lottery. They then had articles like one saying that selfies can damage your skin, so if you take selfies with your phone, the light from that can damage your skin. We had another article saying that drinking a bottle of wine a day is more healthy than drinking no alcohol. You're here today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I've lost the audience sympathy now. <laughs> And the only disclaimer for these articles, those last two, was just scientist says. There was no sceptical content, there was no saying this is obviously not believed by the majority of scientists or this is a wacky theory. They, they just went with it as if that's enough to be authority. But of special note, and I, I think it's annoyed me, it, I imagine it's annoyed Mark Hanna and a few others, is Sandra Clare, who's been allowed to write a regular column on herbal remedies. Now, Sandra Clare happens to run a herbal remedy company called Artemis. And a lot of the, I think we've checked and pretty much everything that she, she suggests, which is good for a medical condition, every herb that she says is something that her company sells. So really it's just adverts, but it's, it's dressed as news. And, and that is just unconscionable. So for that, the New Zealand Herald are the winner of this year's Bent Spoon. <laughs> Okay, so on to the Bravo Awards. Now, the New Zealand Skeptics, we'd like to recognise excellence where it occurs with our Bravo Awards. Each year, we recognise a number of media professionals and those with a public profile who have provided food for thought, critical analysis, and important information on topics of relevance to our interests as skeptics. So, we've got a few winners here, I think it's six in all. Uh, this is more than normal, but we, we have some really good articles coming out this year. So the first one is Lachlan Forsyth from News Hub. 
And Lackland did a really good job this year writing about vaccines. So he did some great positive pro-vaccine articles, and he also took on the anti-vaxxers. And the mixture of the two, and doing it very publicly um, for News Hub, for MediaWorks, was, was a really good job. Next up is Dr. Jess Berenson Shaw. Now she writes for the spin-off, and she's been writing about skeptical parenting. It's been really good to see that she's, she's taking on some good topics. So the kind of thing she's talked about is critical thinking for parents, how you can be critical about what people are telling you is best for your child, uh, the state of midwifery in this country, which is a very good article, and one of Mark Hanna's favorites, Amber Beads. Um, she takes that on, obviously says it's total nonsense. Next up is Laura Walters. So Laura writes for Stuff, and she recently wrote a very good article on our quakes that have just happened. And she absolutely said that they were not caused by seismic blasting from a nearby ship, they were not caused by an unzipping fault line, and they were not caused by the supermoon. She was very, very sure about this, um, and it was a very well done article. And next up is Rachel Thomas, and Rachel writes for Stuff, and she wrote a great article about superfoods. Um, I personally love this article, I talked about it on the radio a while ago, um, but in the article she talked about here are the superfoods that you're told to buy, this is how much they have of various vitamins, and then went on and basically listed foods that are cheap and common and tasty in your supermarket that have as many or more of those vitamins, um, and basically said you don't need to buy these superfoods. They're, they're just a fad, as we all know, so doing that was great. And the last one is a award for two people, and it's a little bit weird because it's Mark Hanna and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'd like to say I had no choice in this. This was, I stepped away. I didn't know that I was going to be put up for this. Um, but Mark Hanna and myself basically wrote a letter to the New Zealand Medical Journal. Um, and in that letter, we, we detailed some research into chiropractors. And we found, unsurprisingly, that chiropractors can't even stick within the law in this country. So chiropractors over here make lots of promises about things like colic and bed wetting that they can treat, which they're not allowed to say by law, they're not allowed to say as far as the chiropractic board's concerned. They're also not allowed to use testimonials, and a lot of them use testimonials. So um, we just put together this spreadsheet, and then we wrote about our findings, and basically said that we thought the chiropractic board should be cleaning up the act for chiropractors. Um, they went on the, uh, on the offensive and said that it had already been done, that we should check again. Um, I spent two hours that same morning rechecking the data. Hardly any change. Testimonials have gone down a bit. Um, I think really no change in the amount of websites making these claims. The claims were just abysmal. So, um, yeah, well done, Mark, and well done. <laughs> All right, and the last award is our newest award. So this is the Dennis Dutton Award for Skeptic of the Year. And this is given to the skeptic who has had the most impact within New Zealand on skepticism. The award comes with a year's free membership to the New Zealand Skeptics and $100 of prize money. So, so far we've had Mark Hanna win it in 2014, and we've had Daniel Ryan, who's unfortunately not here, win it in 2015. And this year's winner is Susie Wiles, who I'm sure a lot of us know, the purple-haired scientist on TV. So, Susie is seen on TV and radio all the time. Um, she's got a very down-to-earth manner. She's skeptical of all sorts of claims. And she's happy to talk to the media if she feels that she's able to, that she's knowledgeable enough. Um, this year alone, she's taken on MPs that have been talking nonsense about all sorts. She's been taking on the anti-vaxxers. She's taken on media celebrity Mike Hosking, and basically said that he's crap. <laughs> Um, she's gone up, she's talked about e-cigarettes in a very skeptical manner. Um, she's dealt with the Zika virus and talked about all the nonsense around that. Um, and she's regularly on Skeptical Thoughts on Graham Hill's radio show and she does a really good job there. Um, and Susie not only has been at our conference as a regular, it's unfortunate she's not here this year, but most years she's here in some capacity giving a talk, helping with a panel. Um, unfortunately, this year she's stuck. I think she's doing bioluminescence this year. I think today she's been making art from bacteria that glow in the dark, which is very cool. Um, but she's also, you see her in skeptical conferences around the world. She's, she's very sought after of a speaker, and she just does so much in this country for skepticism. She's absolutely amazing. 
Now, as I said, she's not here, but I think just quickly I'm going to try and phone her and see if we can uh, let her know that she's won the award, all right? Uh, I've got one bar, so this might not work. No, I've got no service. <laughs> oh, you've got the right. I'll phone this number, you ready? It's ringing. Hi, Susie. Hey, I'm good. I'm just calling from the Skeptics Conference to let you know you won the Skeptic of the Year this year. Congratulations. <laughs> Put her on speaker. Hang on, I'm going to put you on speaker for a second. All right, everybody say hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? Um, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> One thing, what I've done. Um, lots of stuff. Um, We're impressed with your TV and radio and writing on the spin-off and all sorts of stuff. Oh, well, you're very kind. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. <laughs> Not a problem. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I skipped this year. <laughs> That's alright. We're just making you feel really guilty now, aren't we, that you're not here? <laughs> you are. Well, you can blame people for that. People just going away this Yeah, so he's got a conference in Vietnam? Yes, yes, yeah, okay. he's leaving in about an hour. So. Cool. Yeah, well, we're sorry we couldn't be there because it's um, you know, great venue and um, sounds like a great speaker. Brilliant. All right, well, I'll let you go. I know uh, Steve.